So my name is Andreas Hildebrun from ALC Networks. ALC Networks is the uh, gatekeeper, so to say, of the Ravenna technology. Um, we are also part of the uh, AS67 uh, standards group. Um, the AS67 standard is an uh, IP-based interoperability standard for high-performance audio IP streaming. Um, why did we uh, choose to uh, define a standard uh, on IP interoperability? Well, when we look at the market, we see a lot of um, different IP solutions out there. They're all based on IP, they're using RTP in one or the other flavor. However, um, they are not interoperable with each other. So we can't get uh, streams across from one to the other solutions, and so we uh, found it was very valuable to have an interoperability standard. Now, before talking about the standard, um, you probably uh, should know about the different layers in networking in order to make it a bit clearer what uh, interoperability on IP-based uh, networks uh, actually means. Now in networking um, we have um, a low, uh, the lowest layer, layer 1, which deals with uh, physical interconnectivity between devices. That's uh, where the bits and bytes are actually transferred across copper or fiber. We have a layer on top of that, that's where the Ethernet protocols reside. So the Ethernet protocols actually use then the layer 1 to translate the Ethernet protocol content into bits and bytes where they get across and are reassembled into Ethernet protocols on the other side. So virtually the Ethernet devices communicate with each other, but they can't cross the layers. So an Ethernet device cannot talk to a layer 1 device. And then we have layer 3, which is the IP-based layer. That's where the IP-based protocols reside. So in other words, IP devices can talk to each other. They cannot talk to Ethernet layer, and they cannot directly talk to the physical layer. But the data is conveyed from one system to the other um, uh, in a way that it's transported down to layer 2 and layer 1, getting across the wire and all the way up on the other side. Virtually, IP systems communicate on the IP layer. So now we have different audio network solutions. Some of them are purely based on layer one, others are based on the Ethernet layer, layer two, and others are based on IP protocol layer. And it's clear from looking at the model that IP solutions cannot communicate with Ethernet solutions and of course not directly communicate with layer one solutions. But it's a pity that even systems sitting on the IP layer cannot directly communicate with each other. And that's where, uh, why we are back to AS67. AX67 had the goal to establish interoperability guidelines which would make it possible for IP solutions to exchange stream data between each other. AS67 has, has not been designed to be a full new solution replacing all the other already existing solutions, but to define a set of rules and guidelines which make interoperability or stream exchange possible. So in other words, making a Dante system capable of talking to the QSC system, thus uh, capable of talking to Ravenna and well, all between, basically between all the other systems. Now, the work in the task group, um, the task group by the way comprised of more than 100 audio experts from the whole industry, being manufacturers, being broadcasters, being end customers, consultants. Uh, they basically came from all over the world. Um, they easily uh, identify that there is no single common ground between all these solutions. So we had to establish a set of protocols and guidelines which is as close as possible to the existing solutions, utilizing existing protocols, but on the other hand, making it possible to achieve the goals of being a high performance, low latency audio over IP streaming um, standard. And so we had to come up uh, with a full set of uh, definitions covering time distribution, media clock generation, transport and uh, protocols, uh, transport protocols, as well as payload definitions, uh, uh, and finally also connectivity um, definitions, which would make up a set of guidelines which, if they are implemented and supported by the existing IP solutions, make it possible to actually exchange streams and interoperate with each other.